I adore you. I'm so happy to be here talking to you. A uh, big Clayne fan here. Uh, I've always been, what can always been you... so supportive. I'd like you to thank from the beginning, like uh, single-handedly. I did single-handedly put you guys together. I'm just going to put it out. You might have. I, I mean, don't <laughs> tell it to my bosses. Maybe they've just been reading all your stuff and are like, you know, let's, let's do something that will make her happy. What can you tell us about the New York future that you guys have in store? Because we know that Blaine is going to New York. I'm so glad you asked. Um, I think the whole New York thing is really, really cool because there's, um, it, it, it puts these kids uh, in, a, in a new framework of, um, uh, uh, just new new challenges, and that's that's not a sort of cliche thing of like just trying to sound uh, you know interesting. Yeah. They are new challenges when you move to a big city, when you graduate from high school. I mean, that's a huge thing, much less New York City, right. much less um, being engaged. I mean, there's all these sort of right. uh, plot points that have to be addressed and are really affected by being in a city like New York. So um, you know, it, it, if they're going to live together, if they're not going to live together, and if they do. How's that? What's that going to be like? This is the first time these kids are outside of their, their comfort zones, living away from their families. I mean, there's so many potential problems that they're going to have to run into and, and address, hopefully. So that's really cool. I think the, the entire vibe of New York has, has really shifted because the show has become um, definitely more adult in the sense that they're, they're very adult issues and, and things that you really have to think about beyond the confines of this sort of, um, you know, fun high school setting where things are are taken care of because you're a young person and you are uh, not dependent. I mean, you, you are not independent. You right. are completely dependent right. on so many things. So seeing these kids on their own and being the same people that we've watched for so many years and seeing how they change is really cool. And it's been changing in the scripts. And I think people are going to dig seeing that with Clan. Um, is will Adam Lambert sort of be complicating things between the two of you at all, or is that when a totally does separate? Adam Lambert thing? not complicate everything. He's a complicated man. He's a complicator. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, a complicating isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it'll right. definitely be adding to the mix. Right. Um, okay. If not just because he's so talented and his presence is so amazing yeah. that it yeah. can't help but get in things. Are you hoping like, that he sticks around for next I season? I do. Yeah. I love Adam. Yeah. Uh, he's a good pal and he's so outrageously talented. And we just had a screening of this last episode, oh. Frenemies. We just watched, and every note he sang was just murmurs of the cast. Like, oh, he's so good. Um, because he is, so we're very lucky to have him, and uh, he's got to go be, you know, a pop star or whatever he does on his spare time. But when he's not, I'd love having him here. I, I've got to do um, some scenes with him, and he's just a blast. And I think he lights the camera up, and and God knows he lights our brains up with that voice. <laughs> My God, jeez.